All right, so welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the hardest career series. Today's episode, another another first. We're going to be sending something to orbit and then returning it back to Kerbin's surface. So send a probe to space and get it into orbit around our home world and then get it back. Got 9,000 advance, that's nice. Nearly 20,000 reward for science for reputation. We'll lose 30,000 if it's destroyed. It's a bit of a gamble. We're not too low in funds. Okay, so we should have the tech that we need to do this. We'll head to the VAB and see what I can put together. We'll put down a, a little sort of spacecraft together with a heat shield. And hopefully that might be able to get through the atmosphere. Depends on whether the heat shields actually sort of that I've got unlocked will actually sort of match the requirements that we need though. We need a tiny little tiny tiny little heat shield. Not a, not a, like a huge one. Okay, we'll head into the VAB. Okay, so this is the first attempt at getting something back from orbit. This is the J1A launched. So J1A have already launched things with this plenty of times now. It's trying to tell us because I kept losing contact even with the ground station that I've got open. So I've gone around the uh, planet Kerbin and I've opened some of the tracking stations because we kept losing contact while launching things. Especially Polar for some reason. I've also launched at four Comsats equatorially and two Comsats Polar. So hopefully that will help. So what we've got here, we've got a little spacecraft, the QBE again. A little parachute. I haven't set the parachute up yet, but that's fine. Got the four C1 Communitron 16-S's. That's the reason why I've got four of those because it's just purely for redundancy, just in case a scrap says that's broken or something else has dropped off. They're not combinable, so it's not to increase the range. So we've got reaction wheel. As always, just like the previous spacecraft that we've launched, except obviously this is to come back, so we've got the parachute and the heat shield. SSTU, modular heat shield. It has got its own built-in, as you can see, a shroud. It's got a light decoupler. There's also a shroud just there. It's really good. It's very, very good. Very useful. We've got the shroud just there. So I'm hoping this actually uh, shields the payload like a, a nose cone. It may not work. Hopefully it does. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to launch to orbit. As always, the second stage will then circularize the orbit. And the second stage will then be used to deorbit. Because this has no propulsion on it whatsoever. It's just got a reaction wheel and that's it. Alright, so I'm hoping the reaction wheel has enough strength, enough power in it to be able to uh, keep attitude so the heat shield's always facing the atmosphere. Otherwise, if it turns around, it'll burn up in the atmosphere and we'll lose it. Alright, so it's going to take 3 days, 3 hours, 20 minutes and 52 seconds to build. Once it's built, we'll roll it out to the launch pad. We'll launch from KSC, just in case the contract itself, like the uh, previous contracts that we've tried, require us to uh, launch from KSC, otherwise I don't qualify. Okay, so that's that. So I have also additional information. I have uh, opened up some tracking stations on the equator and the some of the polar tracking stations on Kerbin. I've opened two air bases as well and launch sites. Quite expensive, so I only managed to get sort of opened up two. They're quite expensive, like I said. I've also launched four commsats going equatorially at different altitudes and also two more going polar. Uh, the polar ones are about 1000 meters and one kilometer or so. so. They should hopefully help us to remain in contact with this while we're launching and then recovering it. But there's no guarantees. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the shoot up and let it build. Then we'll head to the launch pad and launch. And hopefully, first time lucky. Hopefully. Alright, so for the first time, trying to get something back from orbit. Hopefully this is successful for the first time. So as we get into orbit, circularize the orbit with the second stage. So as we get the tick for 
the situation orbit there. We'll then deorbit using a second stage decouple from the heat shield and the heat separator. And hopefully we'll get through the atmosphere. Hopefully, that, as I said, that reaction wheel hopefully has got enough power to hold the heat shield towards the atmosphere, but we shall have to see. Okay, here we go. So the tower's clear. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so let's get to above uh, 70 kilometers. I shall cut the first stage off. Okay, I'll leave it attached as always. Bit of extra control from the RSS. Also, if you need to kick it slightly above, just get dragged down a little bit. Looks like it's okay. Okay, once it's above 70 kilometers, we shall let the second first or the first stage go. We'll ignite the second stage, shake our eyes, and then we'll go from there. Engine is live. 15 seconds. A little bit of extra weight compared to how we normally would fly. Heat shields do add quite a lot of mass. That's why I kept it as a light heat shield. Okay, so once it's circular, you should get the green tick on the contract. Once we do, we'll begin retro and burn in the opposite direction and bring our periapsis back into the atmosphere. Ah, damn it. Bit too early to say that. Okay. Okay, so we've got orbit. We've got the tick. Can't access anything in here. Well, actually, we can, but there's nothing, there's no real reason to, uh, to access it. Okay, right, I'm going to de-orbit. Bring it down nice and gently, not too far. Okay, about 20 kilometres should be okay. And we got the first stage back. Excellent. We had 5,482, we got 5,009. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. We are just at the ice point of our orbit. We are just about to come in. Now, do I use a main engine? Yeah, we will do. Are coming too shallow or too deep? Try to see if I can shape that a little bit better. That's better. Okay, we'll let this stage go. Look at RCS, yes, I've no idea. Now we only have very short range communications because I can't activate. Quite a bit. Oh, they are activated. That's fine. I'm thinking those communitron 32s. They're not the 16s, aren't they? I'm thinking of. Can't really click on them though, unfortunately. Okay, so on the arm. The shoot right now, just in case we lose contact, as we have so many times. Should take two to hit the atmosphere, and we're coming down now quite quickly.
Okay, so through the atmosphere. Yeah, it's strange of a heat shield that overheats you. It's almost, almost about here. It almost overheated and blew up, basically. Luckily, it didn't. Okay, we'll let the uh, heat shield go. That she lets me. Hmm, that is strange. This isn't going to end very well. So, for some reason. The shroud hasn't decoupled from the heat shield. And it won't allow my spacecraft out. Ah, oh dear me. This is going to hurt. Okay, so look, it got 600 meters to go, and they did actually work. Phew. Okay, so once it's touched down, we shall recover and collect our reward for the completion of the contract. Okay, so that was successfully recovered. 62.1 science gathered six signs from recovering something from an orbit. Excellent. 715 funds from recovered parts. We also got back the first stage, which was 5,009. The entire spacecraft cost about 9,400 or so. So only the second stage we can actually get back. Which is excellent. Okay, so we've got two. Got the world's first. We tend to the surface from orbit. 14,400. One size, three reputation. And we'll go over to probe and return it safely home. You did it. You successfully got a probe into orbit and return it home. 19,054. Four size and four reputation. Alright, so we've got another three of these. Oops. No, we've got two more of these. Don't need them. So I shall scrap them. Alright, so first attempt to get something back from orbit, and it was successful. Oh, scrap did not strike. Except that heat shield, that SST procedural heat shield, almost overheated. A heat shield that overheats isn't all that useful, is it? Really? Maybe I had it on the wrong setting. I'd have it on light rather than medium. Try and save mass. I could have actually used the medium. Not, losing, not lost a great deal of uh, Delta V either. Alright, so that's the end of this episode. So that's the first orbit returned successfully. Alright, so that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click like. It's appreciated. If you have a comment or a question, by all means, you're more than welcome to do so. Or leave one if you wish to do so. Don't forget to share with your friends if you so wish. That does help the channel quite a lot. I've got subscribe to the channel for this series and other series I'm going through right now and in the future. Look, we have Discord, Facebook, and Twitter. You find the thing, link, links, the links, the th all three links to those three platforms on the banner on the front page of the channel. All right. So once again, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. As always, take care and bye bye.